Well, I've been doing continuous improvement probably since I started my career with Frito-Lay 15 years ago. And everything from just uh, how you lead people, how you engage your workforce, getting, uh, bringing everybody with you has always been really important to me. And just in the last five or seven years, I've helped uh, deploy uh, Lean and Six Sigma in a couple of different organizations and recently with Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Well, you know, this event here has been fantastic and there's a, there's a, a lot of great vendors here that are talking about how to go take your uh, your continuous improvement program to the next step, whether that means uh, how, do you, how do you engage all levels of the organization, uh, maybe how, how do you create the burning platforms for your executives, and I think there's just a lot of great networking and the presentations have been fantastic. Well, I think that uh, there's a couple different vehicles for that, and for us uh, Dr. Pepper, it's really about uh, setting the, our goal deployment uh, at the highest levels, and then creating venue, venues for the organization to go work against those goals. We'd use two platforms, one our Kaizen events, and our second is what we call DPS in action, which is involving every single employee in the organization to go drive change. We believe that once we get um, everybody uh, on the, uh, giving them the ability to go make change, then the opportunity for us to, to grow in the marketplace is gonna be there. You know, there's, there's challenges all along the way, for sure, but we believe that the best change comes from our people that do the work. So every time that we have taken a solution from the employees that actually do the job, we've never failed. And the times that we have tripped on ourselves are the times where we have not involved the right level of folks. So I think that once you, uh, if you involve the right level of folks, then your success is going to be there. And, you know, the networking is great to go just get the contacts from, from other organizations and the small things that you hear in this, uh, these events can just really balloon out to larger learnings down the road. So the networking is, and the um, contacts that I've made are the ones that I'm going to take, the things that I'm going to take with me to go learn more about after the event. Well, getting a voice to the customer is always super important. So I think that should be the first step of any type of uh, um, improvement opportunity. And that's the, maybe a great way for the PEX conference to continue to grow is to have the engagement of some of the downstream effect um, and even customers of some of the organizations that come to the conference could be part of it. Yeah, I think uh, in 60 seconds or less, that's a tough one. But I would say that you got to engage all levels of the organization and have multiple platforms to communicate, to engage, to go drive change. And don't make it very complicated. It's simple. You know, we walk past waste every day. Our jobs are to go remove the waste. Yeah, I think operational excellence can't be a work group on the side. It has to be... I don't like to use the word culture, I like to use the word behaviors. So it has to be brought into the behaviors and the DNA of the company. And it takes small behavior changes to go make that happen, so, and it can snowball. So the behavior changes from the frontline employees is what's going to go drive that long term. You know, I think uh, keeping it basic and keeping it simple with visual management that it helps you understand real-time measures and leading indicators that are going to drive your, your overall scorecards and your goals of your customers are going to always be some of the most important things you can do. How you go about getting that done, um, there's a lot of opportunities to, to learn at this conference about doing things different ways, and I think all folks will find something that they can take back with them. So we believe that RCI is the foundation of how we work at Dr. Pepper, and the best change comes from our people. So we don't um, replicate anything without involving the folks that are actually gonna go do the job, and I think that creates the buy-in, the success, and the long-term, um, you know, helps the long-term vision of RCI and, and the competitive advantage that it brings to Dr. Pepper. So I think the biggest success factor for RCI is that we have engaged all levels of the organization. We have key senior level support all the way down to the frontline employees. And, you know, moving forward, we're just gonna continue to grow on that. And um, everything from visual management to large step function change projects, that's kind of what's core to RCI at Dr. Pepper.